What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. Sorry about the echo in the shop. Got it nice and quiet in here. I'm gonna kick one off. Amazon bought a pretty cool tool today. So before we show you what the tool is, we'll show you what I'm working on. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so we got the 71 Monty in the shop. Springtime's coming. The normal customers, you know, with their, uh, you know, vintage race cars, things like that. The Model A, we're actually still working on. Got everybody bringing in their uh, summertime cars, getting them ready for the warm weather coming up. But the Monty is getting some uh, AC. We got a company, Vintage Air. John went ahead and bought the kit for it. Um, we're kind of just wrapping it up now. But making custom AC lines, you know, some of them come in the kit, you know, pre-crimped. We got to crimp the other side. So there is a tool for it. I got uh, made by Mastercool. We had uh, picked one up. It comes with some dyes and all that stuff. They do make hydraulic ones, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get this baby open and get a first-time use on it in the tools in use. But we'll open this up, show you guys what's in it. All right, guys. So another blow-molded case from the last video we did. Uh, but this one got here today, something that, uh, you know, I, I've been wanting, I've had, in, I've had in my cart, I've been looking at it. I definitely know, I knew I needed to need one. I've used them before, but this one, you know, haven't really used yet already, opened it up, checked it out. This one is the manual one, uh, part number 71550. And it's, it's pretty much comes with the die, but what it does is it, you know, it crimps those uh, aluminum ends onto those rubber hoses. So you can make custom AC lines or finish off custom AC lines. This does work. If the, it's big enough, it will work for a power steering line, whatever you need it for, but this one is for AC line mostly, mostly for uh, power steering. The dies will be a lot smaller. These dies uh, are numbered. You can see eight, 10, 12, and a six came loaded in there. Here's the uh, apparatus here that's used to uh, pretty much, you know, squeeze down on the die evenly to get your nice grooves in, pretty much make it stock. You know, you don't want to go too much or too loose. You just want to make sure it pretty much pinches that rubber inside the uh, die. And I'll show you guys the fittings we got here. Um, I think I have all the sizes I'm going to need for this. After reading through, you know, some of the destructions on this, you know, factory air installation, it looks like we'll probably be using, um, I think six, die six, eight, and 10 12 we're not going to need today but you know it's going to make it a pretty even job so they do have hydraulic ones you know i did spring for the the manual one like i said but uh what we're probably going to do is the one line that's off the car we'll take it back by the vice this thing is mountable or you could bolt it down it also got bolts here but we'll put it in the vice cut back the first one make the first one see how uh see how it ends up with this tool in action and then the next one i'll show you guys kind of how to handle it when it's underneath the hood you know, at least what I plan on doing to uh, get these lines taken care of. So get over by the vise and uh, get this first hose taken care of. All right, guys. So pretty much got it back here by the vise. This little hose here is the one we're going to be taking care of here. It's not connected to the car, so it's easy to mount this thing. Here's the kit. This kit does come with uh, instructions on it, some warranty information, pretty much telling you the die sizes and the numbers and all that stuff on there. It's pretty self-explanatory. So you pretty much get the, uh, the main unit. It comes with a little set pin on here. Um, I did pull it er earlier and pretty much bro broke it off, but you guys can see it's a little set pin in there. You can pretty much lock these, uh, you know, the jaws into place. So this one here, is the one we're going to be doing the high side and here's it with it uncrimped we'll get this set on there i already got the hose set to the length we're going to need it the other one we're going to the low side we're going to do on the car but get this thing set up get the pieces we can get the correct die size in there pretty much come out want to pinch the two ends and then lift straight up on it you can see how they lock in they got the three little tabs there so this one we're not going to be using Pinch and pull out, and then we'll just double check. I believe this one's eight, I want to say, but just want to double check and see. Yeah, eight's going to be our number. 
Eight's going to be our number, so the low side is probably going to be ten. Get these loaded in there first. What you want to do is drop the middle pin in and then let the sides go. The sides will line up in their corrected spot. And then the same thing with the top. Get them lined up and the tops will get locked in. So we got that all locked in. We'll get this thing mounted. Mount it in the vise just like that. We'll pretty much take the end, get it all the way on there. You can see it's barbed on the inside. So basically all this is really doing when you crimp this off is just you know, the same thing a hose clamp would do. It's just pinching it off so it stays on there and doesn't slip off under pressure. I do got to get my direction correct. So I'll probably, uh, so I'll probably go back to the car and then line up your direction exactly where I want that to sit. I got my length correct and then we'll come back. What I'll do is I'll put a mark on here and after I do, we'll come back and go ahead and uh, crimp this on there, show how this works. All right, so you guys can see what I did there with the little yellow. And it really doesn't matter for a hose like this because this is straight, but you know, kind of the curve, I wanted to go with the curvature on there. So it sits in there real nice. So now we got that set up. We get you guys kind of zoomed in here. I'll show you how this tool works. All right, we got the pin in. Get everything lined up. Make sure our mark's still where we need it to be here. Kind of lost it there. There we go. Make sure the hose is pushed all the way in. I'm going to flip this around because it's got a curve on the back side and I don't want it to push down on the vise too much. All right, nothing's in the way there. Double check it. Now I'm pushing in on the hose and then we'll start to tighten this. Start tightening it up. It'll start clamping down on it each end. And what's nice about it is it does it really evenly. You don't have to go too crazy, just enough for it to pinch the hose onto the barb part of the uh, you know aluminum fitting. All right, just kept on tightening it till pretty much you know the dies get close together here. Make sure we got a nice strong tighten on there. You don't want to go too crazy on it, but started to get tight so I know we pretty much got it enough. This thing loosened up, pulled the pin, and that's how it turned out. You guys are picking that up. Pretty much look stock. This one was done by Vintage Air and that's the one we just did. Nice and tight, not moving. My mark's pretty much where it needs to be and that hose is done. Alright guys, so I got that hose on there the high side um, looking at these connectors and how they have it the low side comes from the passenger side of the car but hooks up to the left side you know the driver side of the compressor and then the high side pretty much comes from that opposite side and hooks up to the other side of the compressor so these fittings actually cross and making custom lines no one's ever filled this up yet and I want to make sure when I go fill this up you know I'm able to get the fittings on there, charge the AC machine, and what it's looking like now, I don't know if you guys can see it from that angle, here's the one that comes from the uh, inside of the car from the evaporator core and having this on here, you know, they both have a bend to them, there's really not much I can do. So this fitting, I wish was more at a 90, you know, it's got a pretty solid curve there, probably like 120 degree. Um, when I put it on here, just kind of loosely getting it to get you know where I cut back my hose here and I got to make sure that you know where this routes from here I got enough room to fit a fitting on here you know this one I can push this way a little bit because that one's got that same bend on it so you know that's probably max there I could probably get a bracket bracket that down to here so that's secure on the high side and then this one here I can probably back up some and come in on an angle here and that's probably as best as I can get here because the way these are set up you know in any other way I do this hose this low side 
you know, it's not going to work out. And the way I got this routed here, you know, we could probably go up the firewall, but that's kind of too much there. Don't want to really do that because it's getting all in the way of the throttle cable and all that stuff. So I think this is going to be our best bet here. Definitely leave a little bit of slack. And then I'm probably going to come down over the intake here. And then kind of just get it in over the valve cover. And that's where I'm going to make my mark here. That way we could get on this one, and then we could get on the low side with the AC machine. So let's go ahead and make this mark. Because once you cut this line, you know, once you really cut these, that's pretty much where it's at. You know, if, if you don't cut enough, you could always cut more off. But if I cut this line too short, you know, this might not work out. i got to make sure that we're able to service this AC system too and not just fill it once and, and forget about it. You know, he's got to be able to have, it's got to be functional. So I'm going to put a little extra slack on there, but I think that routing's good. I could always secure it to the heater core hoses, maybe make a bracket here to secure this one, keep it away from anything super hot. You know, the top engine don't get super hot, plus these hoses, you know, they're, they're made pretty strong. They're able to withstand some heat. Um, but I'm going to get this going here. I got my slack down there. So that's where we're going to cut this one right here. Just using a hose cutter and a razor blade. Get a straight cut. And I'll just finish it off with this razor blade here. And then I'm going to show you guys, you know, obviously we don't have a vise under the hood here, so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to probably mount this up and, uh, you know, get this to, uh, to work here for us. Get our little C-clamp here. Be careful with this guy's paint and everything, but what I think we're going to do... First get prepped here. We're going to load up our side. The size we're using, which was the 10. Drop the dies in. So we got the dies in, and what I plan on doing is just mounting this on down to here. Getting this thing mounted down, just like that. So you could pretty much use the car as a vise. Um, you can actually get a rag. Put a rag down too, just so I don't mess up the guy's car. Set that down, find a good spot, and we'll grab our vise, and vise this thing down. There we go. Now we got it pretty much secure here. Instead of being in the vise, we got a rag down, protecting the guy's paint, not scratching up his car, and then for added measurement, I'm going to put the vice grips on there too. So it's going to be easy peasy. Drop this in there. All right, guys. So I spent a little time making sure this was shoved all the way in there. You could also spray it, kind of help it on there. It's got a little hole in the fitting here, so you could make sure the rubber makes it all the way to the end. I backed off the vice a little bit, get this piece set up in here. Probably try to do it as straight as I can do it with this curvature here. It makes it pretty rough. Make sure everything's out of your way here. Tighten back down the vise here. I'm going to start cranking down on this. Get back in there. All right. Get this pretty secure in there. About there, my vice grips so I can hold it straight as I'm trying to turn it. 19 millimeter, and start tightening it down. All right, got that pretty tight. I can actually see it munching down on it on this side. Back 
it off, take the vice grips off, loosen everything up, I see clamp out of there, loosen it, get our pin out, there we go. Nice and tight. You guys are seeing that from there. Looking pretty good. Definitely be able to hold some pressure there. All right, guys. So this is what it turned out looking like. I got to still, you know, tighten all the fittings up. Got that one on. Definitely looks like, you know, getting these where they need to be. We should have enough room to get the, you know, the quick fitting on here. Quick fitting on this one, obviously. This is where we're going with that. Kind of routed around. We're gonna go up through here, maybe bracket these all together or throw a zip tie on there or whatnot. Ask the customer what he wants to do. You know, he works on this thing too. He did some of the work, so maybe I'll ask him kind of where he wants to put this stuff. But there we go, custom AC lines. You got our high side, turned out beautiful. And then the low side, suction and discharge. All done by the master cool. Go ahead and get this one wrapped up. So that's the uh, AC, the manual AC you know hose crimper when you're making custom hoses. This is the manual one. They do have a hydraulic one. I'll put the hydraulic one and links to this one down in the description. You know this is tools not for everybody. You know it, mostly making custom lines. You know obviously they do have other crimpers for the smaller lines or you could use smaller dies. Same pretty much apparatus that you mount in the vise. You know, could I have spent an extra 40, 50 bucks and got the hydraulic one? Yeah, but for what it is, I'd rather save the 40 bucks, use this. You guys can see most of the time when you already got the hose on the car, you could find something to mount it to. You just got to make sure you're not, you know, breaking into things and, or busting up or scratching people's paint and all that stuff. But for what it is, I think 148 bucks on Amazon, you know, great little buy. You know, got all the dies, comes with all the dies, blow molded case, all that stuff. You know, so if the next job comes along, we got to make some custom hoses. We got the piece for it. So quick tools in action for you guys. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, we'll catch you in the next one. Signing out.